When Joseph Santoros's father put him in Taekwondo as a kid, he didn't realize it would help him face so many of life's challenges. Now, as an adult, Joseph has made it his life's mission to share his love of the sport with others. A story brought to us by our friends at Localish in Houston. Check it out. I lost my hearing when I was three years old. I had spinal meningitis. And I just, what I did realize with martial arts, it helped people win the best out of themselves. That really inspired me to open up my own school so that I can help other people be the best version of themselves. A lot of people have the misconception of what it means to be deaf. For me, I am legally deaf. That's the pretty much the highest level of deafness you can get before being completely deaf. So the best way for me to explain is like somebody talking underwater. I know there's something going on, but I just can't translate the words or translate the sound to what it actually is. Punishing by my count, hello! I've been doing Taekwondo for 32 years now. Oh, sure. I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> my dad made me do Taekwondo. He, he asked me, he said, hey, you want to do Taekwondo? And I said, yes, sir. I was four years old. He goes, okay, but once you start, you can't quit. And I haven't actually have not stopped since I was four years old. So it really helped me learn how to adapt to my surroundings with, with my hearing loss. So martial arts has really helped me with that. In 2013, I was invited to compete at the 2013 Summer Deaf Olympic Games. Uh, it was really exciting. I get to meet with other people that have hearing problems, and I get to do what I love, which is Taekwondo. Right now, I have one student who's the number one ranking uh, fighter in his weight category. Uh, he made the national team when he was 16 years old, made the adult national team at 16 years old, which is an accomplishment in itself. So as a coach, that's a very very exciting. He says he, he'll always be there for us. He doesn't give up on you. He will push you through your limits. He will make sure you surpass yourself. And honestly, that's one of the greatest things about him. I think one of the most important things for me being a Taekwondo instructor is not that these kids get the black belt. It's not that they learn how to kick and punch. The important thing for me is that the moment they leave these doors, they are a better person than when they first came in. I've been blessed with these students to accept me for whoever I am. You know, with my hearing loss and my speech impediment, and I know one of my students said I'm goofy and all that stuff, but they accept me and love me for who I am. And I accept them and love them for who they are. Uh, you said you did Taekwondo with your kids. Yeah, he's an amazing guy, and for that reason, I put both of my kids in when they were four. My son took to it, did it for years. My yeah. daughter stood there in her gi while all the boys were bouncing off the wall doing plies. <laughs> so we figured, we figured maybe it wasn't for her, and she wound yeah. up doing ballet. But lots of lessons for others. <laughs> That's right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.